Hi and welcome to part 4 of the Django Crash Course. Today we are going to make it possible to view the detail page of a blog post and also add comments. So the first thing we want to do to create the new view is to go into views.py in the blog application. So blog slash views.py and then here I want to create a new view def detail request and then slug. And this will be the address for the blog post. And then to get the blog post based on this slug, we say post equals get object or 404. This is a new shortcut we import from Django. And then first we need to specify the model we are going to use. And in this case it's post. And then we want to set slug equals slug. And the first slug here refers to the field slug here in the post model and the second one refers up to this one so it will now give us a, a post if not it will give us a 404 error so you can see here I get a little error because I haven't imported the post model yet so I need to do that here from dot models import post and then I can say return render request Pass in the template name, which would be blog slash detail dot html. And then I create a dictionary here, post, post. So now the post should be available in the front end in the template. So let's create the template now. So in blog here, create a new folder, templates. And in here, a new folder called blog. I could put the template right in this folder but since I now have a folder called blog in there and a folder called core in that template it's much easier to separate them from each other so then in here detail.html and I want this to extend the base template as well extends core slash base.html and then we begin with the block title and here I want to show the post title, so double curly braces, post.title, and I want to pipe this like this, and block. I can just copy this, rename title to content, and then I close it below here. H1, post.title, just want to show that everything is working, and so now Next step now is to import this to the URLs. But to keep things as clean as possible, I want to create a separate URLs file inside the blog application. So create a new file, urls.py. And now we need to import path from Django, from django.urls import path. And we need to import the views from blog import views or from dot import views and then the URL patterns this is similar for all URL pages and this should be a list and here is a path and then to get to the detail page arrow bracket slug colon slug and then slash and this first slug is that we are expecting a slug in the URL and the second slug is the name of this parameter. You could call it whatever you want, but slug, uh, you understand what that means right away. And then here we say views.detail name post detail. So then it's easy to understand what this refers to. Django.urls import path, sorry. So when I now save, nothing happens, but because now we need to import this URLs file into crash blog slash URLs. So here we can say path empty and then include blog.urls. So first all path that will try to go into this before it goes to the front page. So first it tries to go to admin, then about, then it will try all URLs in this one before it goes to the front page. You can see here I get a new error now because include is not defined. So you need to import this from django.urls. So 
and we can save and this refreshed now. So if I refresh, nothing happens. So now I want to make it possible to click one of these posts. So then I need to go back to Visual Studio Code, find the template, front page. And I would like to link on all of these. So A, HRF, and then to link to the detail page, we use a new template tag with the curl brace percentage URL. And this is a built-in in Django. And then we just specify post underscore detail, which is the name you find here. And then to specify the slug, we just say post dot slug in here. So first the name of the view and then the parameters. Great, so then I can close that and save, refresh. And now this turned blue, that means that this is now clickable. So if I click the second post, I will be sent here. And you can see up there, second post, and also the title there. Perfect. But now we just need a little bit of styling. And some of this, I just want to copy from the front page. So I can copy all of this actually. And then I need to find a template, detail.html, and just paste it in. But here I don't want to loop through, so I need to remove this loop like that and then save so for now okay and i can remove the link as well refresh and now you see the the date the title and introduction and then i want to add a, another element around the introduction strong and then below here, I want to show the post dot body and save. So for now, refresh, we also get the body here and the introduction is in bold, so we can easily separate them. Perfect. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. And then the next step now is to add comments to this blog. To do that, we need to create a new database model to keep track of the model and of the comments. So go to models.py and then here, create a new model called class comment models.model. And then the first field here I want to add is a reference to the post so we know which post the comment belongs to, so post equals models dot foreign key, it's called. I just pass in post and set something called a related name, comments. So now we can easily get all of the comments belonging to a post. On delete equals models dot cascade. So when you delete a post, you also delete all of its, all of its uh, comments. So this is action that will be triggered when you delete a post. Name models.charfield. Set the max length. This is the name of the one who adds the comment. Email models.email field. So now Django will automatically validate that it is an email for us. And then body. It's a models.text field. And we can copy the created at like that. So now we can save this, stop the web server because we need to update the database burning Python managed by make migrations. And then the migrate. Great. So now we have a new table in the database. And we can run the server again. And then to make it possible to have a form here for submitting the comments. We want to create a new file in the blog application called forms.py because Django comes with built-in functionality for us that will handle security and similar. So create a new file, forms.py. Again, you can call this what you want, but forms.py makes sense because this is where you generate the forms. Let me say from Django import forms and then from dot models import 
comment because this is the model we want to use inside the form then we can create a class for the form comment form let me say forms dot model form you have a, a couple of different types of forms but i like the model form because then you get automatically a form based on the model you specify so add a class meta for configuration model equals comment capital C of course and then the fields we want to so create the tuple and the fields we want here is name email and body name email and body and then save because post this needs to be specified manually and created that will be automatically filled out so now we have this comment form we can go to views.py in the blog application and we can import it up here from dot forms import comment form and then in here we can say form equals comment form now we need to make this available in the front end like that and save so then we can show it here so if we go below here hr so we have a separate line h2 class subtitle is for comments and then we say form method is post action no we don't need to specify the action because it can just go to the page we are on and then we can say form.sp this will generate the form for us and gives us the, uh, the html we need and then we need a button for submitting the form div class field div class control and then button class button is success we get a nice green button submit comment and save so then we can refresh then we see that we got a form here which doesn't look good we will fix that later then we have the button there but if you submit now we get multiple errors first we need to fill out because you can see here csrf verification failed and this is built-in security from django as you can see here we get the solution actually in the template we miss this template tag csrf token so if you go back to the code you can paste it at the top of the form and then we go back again into the post again and if I now inspect here we can see what we got from Django there we got a new hidden field called CSRF middleware token with long value and this is security so you can't uh, submit this form from other URLs than the one you came from when you got, got to this page great so now that that's fixed we can try to submit but it still won't go you can see nothing happens and that's because we haven't handled the form in the back end yet so we need to go back to views.py and here we can check if the form has been submitted by saying if request dot method equals post then we know that it has been submitted and we can create a new instance of it form equals comment form if form dot is valid then we know that all the data is correct and we can say form dot save and if it's not a post request then we just say else and we can just have this empty but since here we get it from the post request we want to pass in request dot post here so now Django gets all this data, we'll pass it into this uh, class here and fix everything for us. But there is one more problem and that is the foreign key for the post. So if you try to save now, this will crash. So what you need to do here is to say comment equals form.save and prevent this from submitting it to the database. And to do that you say commit equals false. So now it will just create a temporary comment for us 
and we can say comment dot post equals post which refers to this one and then comment dot save and then it will be added in the database so now i just want to redirect the user back to the detail page instead of just making him uh, render it here because then we can refresh the page and it will add one more comment so we just want to say return oops return redirect and then post detail which is the name of the view then we just need to specify the slug here by saying slug equals slug and save so now we also import the redirect a pair so now we can try to add a comment to the post just refresh code with stein code with stein.com this is the first comment submit great you got no errors there are no errors in the console but the comments are still not showing so we need to fix that now so if we go down here into detail.html then below this form we can go through all of the comments belonging to this post by saying for comment in post.comments.all and for and we can say post.comments because we added this foreign key and set the related name and that's it uh, now that all because we want to get all from the database and then article class media div class media content and then at the top i want to show the name of the user or the one who commented comment.name and then when it was commented comment.created at you can also pipe this into time since just like we did with the post itself ago and then add a line break and here we can show the comment comment.body save then we can go back and refresh okay great so now the comment is showing here I want to add a little bit more styling to this so article class media box so now we get some shadow around it but I also want some space above this but the space can be added to the form first class mb6 so it gets space below margin bottom that stands for that I can add a comment number two comment number two submit and then it was added there perfect so now we have comment functionality for our blog nice and that's it for this part i hope you liked it and if you did please click like below that would really help me out if you want notification when the next part is coming you need to hit subscribe below as well in the next part of this series we're going to make it possible to add categories to the to the blog as well so see you in the next video